Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas lights a torch in Ramallah, marking 54 years since the establishment of the Fatah movement. Thousands of supporters marched in the West Bank, celebrating the founding of the party, but the faction still faces backlash from its rival, Hamas. And Fatah claims Hamas arrested 500 of its members in the Gaza Strip. In last night's uh, speech uh, uh, of Abu Mazen, he, he blamed uh, Hamas uh, of no less of treason and foiling the national efforts uh, of Fatah uh, to establish the statehood uh, for the Palestinians. Founded in 1965, Fatah was seen as the underdog, painting itself as a champion for Palestinian rights. Also previously labeled as a terror group, becoming infamous for its militant branches like the Black September Organization, known for the 1972 Summer Olympics massacre. The Tanzim Brigade, led by Marwan Barghouti, active in the Second Intifada, and the Al-Maqsa Martyrs Brigade, responsible for dozens of suicide bombings and shootings against Israeli civilians. Dominant in the West Bank, the group is still today often associated with the leadership of its founder and chairman, Yasser Arafat. But now the group may be faltering, facing criticism from Hamas. We are already in the middle of uh, exchanging uh, accusation of treason from both sides. The other organizations uh, uh, in Gaza, they used to be allied with Fatah in the, in the, in the old PLO, are now allied uh, with Hamas. So you may say that uh, Fatah, uh, in this way or another, uh, stopped to exist in Gaza. Uh, also in the West Bank, also uh, the, the Fatah militias are strong and they're co controlling the streets, but uh, you may say they are, they are not popular. And this divide may lead to the organization's collapse. I think that at the moment the PLO uh, will collapse, but actually it will be a completely different uh, organization of what we used to know uh, from the past. Emily Rose. I-24 News.